Hello everyone, welcome to Zero Labs. Today is Tuesday, February 3rd, 2015. I'm Mark Brash, your host, and today we're going to do an unboxing of a 3D printer. So yeah, I am admittedly late getting to the game. I am usually late for most events, so get over it. But uh, I finally broke down and purchased a 3D printer kit from eBay. I got this one here for 300 and roughly $330 delivered. Uh, it was probably the best value that I could find for the money. It is a, now let me get, get all of these uh, names in, RepRap, which is an open source uh, type design, PRUSA I3 H600 3D printer. It is distributed by a company on eBay called Have It Shop, and we will be assembling it and going through it step by step. I'll be making some observations on how easy or difficult or any uh, deficiencies of the kit, things of that nature, as we go along. But without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. Okay, let's see what's in the box. And we got a packing list. Machine screws, nuts, bolts, aluminum plates. I imagine this is pretty easy to screw up. Okay. So this is the aluminum plate for the hotbed. Here's the heater. I wonder what the uh, the different taps on here represent. Looks like it was soldered in one or two places before they decided on which one was correct. Hmm. Okay, so we got got ourselves a hot plate. bag full of hardware all labeled in Chinese <laughs> all right what's this in a pouch Travel adapter, surge protector. So this is a universal surge protector. Now all of my power is, is already conditioned through a um, UPS, so I'm not really concerned about that. Here is the Atmega. 128 controller board designed specifically for uh, this RepRap 3D printer mini USB micro SD card slot wonder why they didn't put heat sinks on the uh, on the servos the picture showed these little heat sinks on all four of these. Huh. Well, we'll see how much uh, how much heat these generate. Hopefully, not a lot. If they do, I'll have to put a fan on it. 
now. Being a little deeper. Oh wait, still got still got a couple of things here. This must be yep, this is the power supply. Fairly beefy power supply for the printer. This is one of the uh, this is one of the um, main features of this particular 3D printer that I selected. This is a lead screw stepper motor, meaning that the lead screw is permanently a part of and is permanent is is part of the shaft. The shaft is the lead screw, so there's no backlash on the Z-axis. That was one of the selling features of this particular model. And that's what gives it the 100 micron resolution that a lot of the other ones that kind of look the same but really aren't, just didn't have that. Set these aside. Obviously this packaging is very well thought out. And then of course you have the, uh, the main part of the frame. A World Net 3D, whatever that means. And then all the plastic acrylic components that make up the um, the framework of the printer All right. take this out and I think this is the bottom layer Ooh, wire cutters. Yeah, that made the whole kit worthwhile. <laughs> um, so they give you a little, uh, a little spatula scraper, wire cutters. Already pre-assembled slide bearings. Got some foil tape, I'm not sure what that's needed for, some masking tape, uh, bearings, belt pulleys, wire loom, belt, end of travel switches, heat sink for the extruder, Some place in here I was hoping to find um, an instruction manual or a USB kit or something. Some, something on a on a drive that had the assembly videos. seeing it and of course you have the three stepper motors one of them is for the extruder feed mechanism and the uh, other two are for the X and Y X and Y uh, movement of the platter let's make up the framework and uh, I guess that's it I was also looking for a sample of uh, filament. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, there's some uh, filament that comes with it. USB cable, some cable ties. So I'll use this. Um, I'll use this filament to calibrate. And I obviously need to buy some more filament. But it's going to take me a while to assemble this anyway, so I'm not going to worry 
too much about getting the filament, I can actually buy that locally for about the same price you can get it online. No instructions though. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to go to the web page or the, the auction page on eBay and see what I can find there. So that's it. That's the uh, that's the unboxing of the 3D printer. I will be uh, next few nights. Obviously, I'll be attempting to assemble this bad boy into something working, and uh, and then start printing off some of the designs that I've already begun to put together in SketchUp. Please watch for more videos in the series that I'll be publishing on the assembly of the 3D printer. As always, please rate, share, comment, and subscribe, and peace everyone.